Hey everybody, welcome back to E4 Common Sense, featuring myself, Northern Lion, as well as Quill, Mathis, and Arumba. Say hello. Yo. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Before we unpause, I should talk about what's going on in the game, because I apparently missed the last five minutes in my recording. I don't remember yeah. if they saw me declaring war on Aachen, and then You're you tried up. to enforce peace. Not, not on my end. The you sound like a robot. Yeah, there's some Skype issues again. Wow, what it a sounds week. fine to it me. It sounds fine to me, too. Okay. I'm hmm. blaming you, Arumba. Yeah, that seems It's not reasonable. me. I didn't. I didn't do anything. So I separate anyway, pieced out the Platinet for, like, some money. And apparently you can't actually enforce peace? Well, the the war, the uh, the Emperor, Bohemia, just declared he's part of the war against Northern Line. Yes, and so, so that correct. blocked it. I can't enforce peace. You have to be able to declare war on a target to enforce peace. And I can't declare war, at least for one month. It so I think you might, I might have to send it again. Okay. But it's weird that the first one, like, fizzled out. How is it that I'm the one with the coalition war, yeah, and, you're and you crazy. guys are are having this spaghetti string of alliances going on here? <laughs> I'm I've got I'm facing oblivion right now, and you guys are worried about a prompt disappearing. <laughs> yeah, having both Bavaria and Bohemia in the war against you is problematic, maybe because I'm I'm happy that I have Austria and England, but I don't know if oh. England can get here. Yeah, but Austria but that'll that'll be fine then. You're okay. Austria will help. And maybe Poland? Oh, Poland broke their alliance and Denmark dishonored their call. Because, uh, fuck them. Yeah, you'll be fine. You, you'll fight them to a white peace at the very worst. I'm convinced, if not... Can we, uh, way. on pause and also lower speed? Yep. Thank you. Me too. Go, Ryan. Also, I am an Cheer idiot and did not have uh, a leader. Ooh, that's not good. Which was very stupid. Did I not put you into yeah, leaders are, are good. You should have those. Yeah, no. I uh, Maybe if we uh, had accepted that pause and not unpaused it uh, when I was trying to <laughs> unmoth all my forts, I may have noticed something like that. Oops. This continues to, to be a problem for multiple people. It's not just us. Not just one person. Yeah, it, the forts are still too new. It's not in our AI to, like, remember to toggle them. Mm-hmm. Okay, I really wish I wasn't involved in this war with Crimea, because the war exhaustion can't go down. Alright, Quill, let's try this again. Since you, you cleverly crashed your computer so that my pop-up would go away. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> no, you wanted to reboot between episodes, buddy. And I said, oh, well, that's and convenient. You said I'll you're... reboot because I'm having some trouble here, too. <laughs> yeah, oh, my DX toy crashed. My router. <laughs> You're the one who said to restart, and I don't know if that did. Maybe it did. Maybe it canceled. Maybe enforced this is, peace doesn't this is the persist most, through saves. Right. I think this is the most we've seen actually a Roomba and Quill go head to head in a game. That's yeah, great, yeah, man. Definitely. Usually they're I super separate. I still, still can't believe they're arguing the over this stupid crap. I'm in the middle of like <laughs> yeah, <laughs> seriously I, facing like the end of my existence. Hey, this like, is the well, war over one province go? minor, buddy. This is some I don't know where the prompt serious went. business. Well, it's pretty obvious that. Uh, you're you're trying to finish your siege of Aachen before the oh, pop up. Of course. So Crimea's out. Yes. Okay, finally that war's done. Uh, are we, are we, oh, we're finally out of the war. Awesome. Oh, and if the exhaustion goes down fast enough, I might be able well, to call Denmark. I'm just Denmark gonna pause here for you a second, guys. I gotta work out a very complicated peace deal. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> you suck. I, I hate both <laughs> so much that right stupid, now. That stupid, stupid pop up. God damn it. Hey, that's lovely. Thanks, guys. Appreciate that. Support Rebels. Support Rebels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's legit. Oh, wait. I, it's already a core. I have zero unrest there. I actually have negative 11% unrest there. I have uh, other Rebels, of course, but... Well, on the bright side, Poland has accepted my call to arms. They're pretty shitty right now. Like, Crimea got huge, but... I think this, this might stave off, you know, the end of my existence. And who knows? Maybe we'll turn it around. You might. I would love to wipe out Bohemia just so that you scumbags can't stay allied to them. I think you're going to be fine. I, I agree, actually. I think I'm going to be okay now. Now, here's what I'm confused about. How could you enforce peace against me if you don't have a CB against me? Because I got Aachen's opinion to 100 is that all? I thought you needed that's... the CB. I thought you needed the ability to declare war. Mm. Oh, well, maybe a truce would cancel it. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. 
Austria, yeah, where no, did I, you go? I was surprised that you were surprised because you should have known that I had improved relations with them. <laughs> Just you did cost me twenty five ducats because I had, I had him at seventy five, uh, and then I had to send him a gift to get him to hundred. Okay. But, yeah, it's generally a good idea to improve relations with your enemies so that I can protect them. Like say, oh, I don't know. Well, you vassalized on halt, which sucks, but mm -hmm. Austria. Oh, Austria, you're gonna fuck me. Ah. <laughs> uh... Why? What are they doing? They marched their troops all the way across the country, just as like I was getting uh, aggressive armies coming into the territory that I was in. Like I share, I basically attached my army to theirs, and then they're like, "Nah, we're we're gonna go." <laughs> and I said, "Please don't do that." And they said, "No." That's rough. Why is Austria so weak? Like, that's what bums me out. They might have been busy. Well, they are in two wars right now. Well, one's only a war against Transylvania. Yeah, that should not even be a concern. Especially because Hungary is also in the same war. Oh, I see. Quill went for holy or uh, quantity ideas. You did do quantity. You have second idea group already. That's a lot. Yeah, we discussed it at the uh, end of the last video. I went to quantity as yeah, well you're in, when you were bringing it up. You're in, I didn't realize you'd already started it. I thought you were, uh, yeah, you're on text 7 though. It's weird getting tech, I getting two ideas at text 5 and 7. They happen right next to each other. Yeah, that delayed tech 5 makes a mm -hmm. big difference. Hmm. Come on, England. Where's my English troops at? Just chilling in London, huh? Yeah, dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's rough. It should be okay. At some point, Austria will... Austria and Poland are both busy right now. When they stop being busy, it should be okay. I mean, I'm winning the war. I don't understand how. <laughs> oh, you do have positive war score. Someone's <laughs> getting beaten up somewhere. But Austria is getting the crap kicked out of them. Poland is fighting rebels. Pretty much being no help at all. Oh, this is going to be great for national unrest, I'm sure. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Do you have any enemy troops in your territory anymore? And they've got sieges, yes. but... Oh, okay. Mm, no, there is one... There is three provinces that are occupied. So I guess that's not that bad. Yeah, they got your fort in Wurzburg, though, which is like yes. the... Yes, uh, would you like me to explain how that happened <laughs> so quickly again? Yeah. Because of pausing and things, yes. Yes, the, the meek northern lion says, excuse me, chums, could I please get a pause? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the towering giants of grand strategy said, no, your coalition <laughs> war is not worthy. We're trying to suss out what may be a bug deep within the game's code. Hey, in my defense, <laughs> I was only thinking about myself. <laughs> Which is just totally re reasonable. I mean, it happens all the time. So, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not mad about it. You know, it, it is completely possible that while it was paused, I would have just forgotten to unmothball it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not going to. What are you, Poland? What are you doing? What have you, you idiot? What are they Stop doing? Stop that. They just put, they like went into enemy territory with five regiments. And then 21 just poured in over the mountains at them. <laughs> I'm like, well, what did you think was going to happen? I guess I'm going to get in here and try to help them. If we can beat them back here, it'd be good. Augsburg, military tech off? seven. Don't even. <laughs> I'm 12 and this is funny. <laughs> one Polish regiment at a time coming in here to help out well I had some pretty incompetent allies in the uh, the first uh, Cologne Mainzian war I do enjoy how they're marching one regiment at a time into this fight yes yes, I'm, uh, and then you know every tick you're like okay there they go <laughs> they're gone they're dead alright where's the next one <laughs> I don't know. This I do like close. how we're fighting a battle. Well, here comes 10, 10 Austrian 
Yeah, just in time for us to lose. Oh, yep, maybe yep. not. Let's see, here comes another one regiment. You're winning because of Moravia and Landshut being occupied. That's the only reason. I, I appreciate it. I've done nothing. <laughs> Moravia. I actually have 0. Oh. 0.8 regiments right now. 0. 0.8? Yes. You realize that you like made me rival you, right? How, did, how no. did I make you no. rival me? By, by enforcing the rules. Actually, no, that's not I, true. I'm that not was Quill! You. I'm not rival to you, now relax. No, all right, kidding. well, you're the one who brought it up, mister. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the leader? Ulm. Someone get over there and F with Ulm, please. All you gotta do is take them, man. I don't even know where they are. I don't know why I constantly... They're right, to... they're right there. Uh, oh, can you all get... right. Can you, get through Bavaria? Right there. Can, you, can you get over Bavaria? Yeah, I mean, it's surrounded by about 30 uh, times the size of my total army. But if Almost? I just dress, if I dress in all camouflage, <laughs> it should be no problem. <laughs> is there, this is the game that has the attached to army button. Yeah, okay. <laughs> This is the one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you better hope that I lose this war, Bohemia, because someone's getting full annexed. If not... The Protect right against now, mains. Oh, no. <laughs> ah, you're watching those events. Well, yeah, I've got you. You're my rival, so you, I get pop-ups about you. It's funny. <coughs> Apparently, I shouldn't have done that. It was an easy mission. I mean, just making life easy for me, buddy. Yeah. I didn't realize that was your mission. I should have checked. I, I could check. You now you have... Consolidate a in... bunch? Uh, I got rid of some mercenaries. Ah. Uh, so. Well, that's pretty... That I was planning on using against you if you hadn't cleverly avoided that pop-up. You have <laughs> excellent pop-up avoiding avoidance skills. I think it would have been fine. I, I had a lot of troops in one location. Bavaria was still in the war. And had, like... Quite a few extra troops, but I don't know. Maybe you were going to use the power of mathematics against me again. All well, my power of mathematics is that more men is better. <laughs> I would just roll eights and nines <sighs> over and over again. That's all. <laughs> you would too. You're like that. You're dirty like that. You're dirty yep. man. Why, are, Poland? Why are we leaving? The siege was at twenty one percent. They're like, no, we got it. Don't worry about it. Oh, because we're going to go over here and. <laughs> Attack this army right after Austria loses. I don't understand why Austria is fighting Austria in this fight. That's not Austria. It's, wait, Austria? Aus That's Augsburg. Augsburg. The flag is different. No, but it's if different. I hover over both, Austria's. Oh, wait, no, never mind. I'm dumb. Heh. <laughs> Shit. Oh my god, I actually get a cardinal. I have a cardinal. Ooh, oh, you so got now some you can start making, spending your points somewhere else. Yeah, I, I could try to become a. Well. I could try to become a thing. I could try to become the papal controller. And then I could have you excommunicated. Yay! It's my That'd be awesome. Right I don't know. The Pope likes me a fair bit. Damn. Actually. That's tempting. What's tempting? Nothing. Just things. Something? <laughs> just, Some, just country something. things. Mm, I see. I'm enjoying the shit out of the two of you being very uh, aggressive Agro. with one another. Because it never <laughs> happens in any of the other campaigns. You two... You're like pseudo kind of against each other, but you're like right up against one another here. Oh man. Well, like, here, normally, normally the thing is that you, okay, balance of powers, right? You never want to attack the strongest opponent because that weakens you the most to beat them. You want to attack the weak people. And Quill's usually really strong, so I don't want to mess with him because it, it would be too costly for me to win. Mm. But when he's right next to me, if I don't aggressively respond, mm. then he'll just do the same thing. He'll keep. Grabbing the one province miners like he did, and he'll just get so strong that I can't compete. So I have to be more aggressive than normal. My favorite game is probably still the one where we were the Hansa, and you were—I don't remember what you were—but we had massive trade wars by the end of it. Italy, yeah, that was yeah. right. You'd formed Italy, and oh yeah, because you'd started as a, like Mantua or something. You were going Ambrosia Republic, were you not? Mm -hmm. That sounds or right. Milan, yeah. Milan. Anyway, yeah, the trade wars. Those were fun. I like that. Just sort of fencing casually. Denmark! 
I love you. <laughs> Babe, come in. I don't know. They might have to walk through Mantis's territory, which I'm not sure if that'll even be allowed, but... They haven't asked for it yet, so... They're moving troops, which I think is a positive sign. Well, if someone in the war has access through Mathis, then they will as well. Oh, that's good then, because Mathis is part of the Empire. And the Emperor is in the war. That's true. So I think that works it. I still get very oh, confused I am at gonna... all things HRE. So complicated I'm gonna here. Bring the hammer down. I'm going to go back to playing Iowa. England's! Thought. They landed! England! <laughs> <laughs> Finally! Thank you for coming over with uh, just an enormous force of 11 regiments as well. Hey, they're, they're trying. That's pretty good for them. I, I'll admit I was hesitant to even get England as an ally because of their reputation for just not doing anything. I'm just watching like all of their fleets just circle around the British Isles. <laughs> doing a lot of good stuff. They uh, did looks, annex. Looks like, like Denmark is going around me. I think... Uh, I think Denmark is going for, like, the northwestern allies. Oh, no, now they're coming back. I don't know what's going on. Nope, nope, they're, all right. I have no idea. Oh, my I didn't God, Denmark had so much, like, land in the HRA. They have East Frisia and Osnabrück. Oh, so Denmark is technically part of the Empire as well, so... No, they're... No, got a total their capital is not. Ah, okay. They your only prince if your outsiders. capital is in the HRA. Fair enough. Uh, I can't believe we're going to win. <laughs> so Are you going to win? You don't look like you're winning. No, I am I am just going to be a part of the win, but my allies are going to win. Nice. Well, because As of England showing up? Uh, mostly Denmark. Like, Denmark has 11 regiments. Sweden has 11, which are under Denmark. England did come over with 16, which is pretty nice. There's another 12 here from Austria, basically. So that coalition that looks so small was actually kind of enormous. Because all these, like, Augsburg. How many provinces even is Augsburg? It's like two or three, maybe? Yeah. They had well, that's like, an army that was as large as Austria's at the time, pretty much. It's because every yeah. independent nation gets, like, six or something force limit now. So even small nations have reasonable armies. Oh, okay. Yep, yep. six force limit, 10,000 manpower. It's a lot. It's tough to count, count around. <coughs> plus, plus every country has a default income now of one ducat a month, oh, so they oh. can all afford. They can all afford to fill up their force limit. I kind of like that actually. Yeah, it's better because otherwise the small countries just got run over, and they were nef they're never any fun to play. Yeah. Unless you were Ulm, just because Ulm is the best. Yeah. Did you see the the thing on the subreddit about the guy who got? All up to like 600 development or something. Oh, no, no. <laughs> just played, just didn't, he didn't do anything. He just played the game from 1444 to the Wait, end of the game. He was a one province the entire time? Yeah. <laughs> just played it from, until 1821, just upgrading his city of all. That's really tempting. That's like playing Venice. He had like, he had like, 100, like 150 force limit. Like he had a freaking huge army. Like In one province? One Did province. he have the supply limit yeah. for it? I don't think so, no. <laughs> Maybe. I don't remember. I mean, I don't like the way the supply is calculated. I think that it should not be a, a percent based modifier on the base supply. It should just increase base supply because it's the development of the province. I don't know. Just my opinion, man. Oh, England. England saved you, huh? They've they've uh, reversed their reputation in my eyes. Bohemia is about to be done. Sorry, not Bohemia. Bavaria is about to be done. They still do need to go to Ulm. For some reason, they're just skirting around it. Well, th I learned nothing from this. Because <laughs> <laughs> really, I probably should have been punished a little bit. But instead, by making surprisingly good alliances and lucking out, I'm going to get out scot-free. Well, that is shrewd maneuvering then. Good job. Diplomacy is one of the most powerful aspects of this game. That's, wh that's why you're getting score. It's because, ooh, Austria's Papal Controller. Dang it. <laughs> that was my mission. Oh, to become Papal Controller? Yeah, good luck. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah that's, that's, a, that's a sucker's one. mission. I, I had a 15% chance. I was feeling pretty good. Yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want me to turn it off? <laughs> I was wondering why I was hearing it so many times. It's like, man, Skype delay is crazy. <laughs> I'm not quite ready yet. I don't think we'll be able to finish the war this episode. Conceivably, but I would like to see how this resolves. If Maybe I don't even have an army soon, so I don't need to worry about it. <laughs> Which is how it's appearing. No army, right you say? Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Well, obviously, <laughs> if you'd wanted, if you'd wanted to, to attack me, you know that now is the time. Well, maybe. Come on. England, your troops are going to help out here. For sure. No problems. Stack white Bohemia. Also, if you would be so kind as to maybe take over, like, occupy the provinces that I am having occupied in my own country right now, that would be amazing. If you would consider <laughs> that. Do you have some problems with a uh, war exhaustion, maybe? It's going to get there, for sure. Yeah, it's at nine, which is pretty bad. It's pretty high. My war exhaustion, my national unrest is plus 6.9. <laughs> but also, <laughs> that's really bad. That's a lot of national unrest, yeah. That's probably going to lead I, to something terrible. Uh, it could be worse, though. Bavaria and Bohemia are basically at the same level or higher. Anyway, I, I think I'm good for this episode. All right. Cool. If Thanks. you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. You can check out the view sync links at reddit.com slash r slash roomba07 in order to get some more simultaneity with your viewing. We'll be back tomorrow with another episode. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you then. Bye. Bye-bye. Right. See you soon.